Apple released the macOS Catalina just today. So I think in the most markets it's already appeared, but uh, yeah, to many users it will be a surprise. To many unprepared users it will be a surprise because um, all 32-bit applications will stop running. Um, honestly, I knew about that and I every time I saw this, um, your app is not optimized for running on the Mac. I was like, okay, maybe maybe it's going to be fine. The update is not going to be soon. And today's the date. They just released it. And I was wondering, like, how many apps are not ready to run? And then I went to the system uh, 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 about the Mac, and I went to the system report where you can actually look up and see how many applications are 64-bit or not. I think it's... Uh, you open this um, and there will be software uh, software and then I forgot which one it was there yeah applications uh, and it's gonna compile a list of applications uh, that are 64 bit not 64 bit yeah it takes time to execute so let's let's not uh, proceed with this one but the whole point is that I found the app which is called go 64 which allows you to actually analyze what applications are 64 or not in a better way. So as you can see, it shows you um, it shows you all apps and even upgrade cost. Although upgrade cost didn't work for me, I think you need to set this manually. But let me show you how it works. So here's this app. It says called Go64. Um, yeah, it takes a while to launch. So it says it shows this message. Uh, and since I already scanned, it's going to show me the uh, applications that are already uh, scanned. Yeah. It's, so this is the apps that are 32 bit only or have some components that are 32 bit only and which need the upgrade. And guys, this is after the cleanup. This is after the cleanup because before before it actually showed me 50 applications that are 32 bit and I was like whoa that's way too much that's way too much I thought um, and then I uh, cleaned up I removed a bunch of them because honestly this was the good um, time to actually clean up your applications because 32 bit applications most likely that are either abandoned by developers uh, or uh, Oh yeah, probably abandoned by developers. Probably nobody cares about those. Or it was made long time ago that this developer doesn't uh, exist and doesn't operate anymore. Uh, and that's I, that's why I cleaned up a bunch of applications. That's the only ones are left. And as you can see, many of those just have some components like app is 64 bit except for this component. More info and it just says what exactly the problem. And as you can see, total upgrade cost zero, zero, but uh, I mean, it's because uh, I think you need to set it manually. I think you need to like, reset. Yeah, <laughs> no, you need to set it manually. Anyway, and those 12 apps that are left, most likely not critical for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and proceed with installation. So the thing is, I think this app is really useful and uh, it allows you to understand what exactly you need to update or maybe you need to delay your update to macOS Catalina. And guys, this is the app I used to clean up, App Cleaner. This is what it is. So basically it allows you to drag and drop your apps that you don't like, uh, that I mean that are not 32-bit, not 64-bit compatible and you can just remove it easily. It removes the app and as, as well as modules of those apps. So I think it's quite good. I mean, of course, you can just move those apps to trash can directly, but for me, uh, it was the thing that allowed me to actually clean up the app plus their settings and their components. Uh, I don't want this master lying around in the system. So those two apps uh, allow you to actually measure what you need to do before the update. And of course, make sure, uh, don't just remove the apps that, that, is, that says 32-bit uh, only. You can open those can tag the developer or maybe there will be upgrade available uh, sometime soon so you can upgrade those 
so it's not like you need to remove everything and stop um, so yeah it's surprising for some users but at the same time that's what we expected so uh, thank you guys for watching for this video please subscribe press the like button and we'll discuss more <laughs> thanks